Hey everyone, how's it going? I thought I'd uh, show you my beautiful blue van. Um, my beautiful blue van that I've bought to um, convert into a camper and um, go travelling in, um, live in as well, because just want to keep overheads of, you know, high prices of rent and council tax and all of that shit to a minimum. So um, taking, taking to the road and living in this blue beauty. And I just thought I'd take some little videos and some snaps of me just converting it and um yeah making that making that dream possible. So there she is, my blue beauty. So the van that I've got is a Ford Transit van. It's a mid wheelbase, mid top. Um, I didn't want to go too big. Um, I just wanted it to be sort of easy to drive about really and to get into into parking spaces. So here she is. And um, this is the inside. Um, I've got to take this um, white panel in off here. Um, and there is my insulation that I've bought to go um, on the sides. And then I've got a ply lining kit come in. So that will go over the top of the insulation. And the bulkhead at the back is coming out there. And this is my purple beauty of a trike, which is another reason why I've gone for a bit of a bigger van, because she's quite the uh, quite the bit of kit and needs a bit of space. It is a folding trike, so it does go down um, a bit smaller. Um, but even when it's a bit smaller, it still needs a bit of bit of space to be able to um, yeah to be able to to get in things. Um, I've also picked myself up an off cut of lino, which is going to go on the floor. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to start today by just taking off the plastic panel in that's already up. Um, so then I'm all set for when my ply lining kit arrives. Uh, fit a window in the side in, sliding door for me, because um, there isn't one in there currently. And it would just be nice to have a bit of, you know, a bit of sunlight in the back. So getting a window put in the side. The roof bars, roof rack is coming off, um, just because I just don't need it up there. So I can just vlog that and uh, get a bit of cash for that. So, um, so yeah, and I'll probably try and sell the bulkhead as well and, um, yeah, get that, get that gone. So yeah, just a bit, a little bit to do. I'm not going too crazy inside. I'm keeping it pretty basic because, um, I don't need no fancy flashy camper. I just need, need a bed really, a bed and a cupboard, uh, space to put my trike, space to store my bass guitar and my notebooks and sketchbooks because I like writing and making art. So it's going to be my creative, creative little van to do that in. As you can see, she is well tidy inside. She's got such a nice, nice clean cab on her. Um, she's a ex British gas fan, so um, it's pretty good getting ones that are ex sort of like vehicles like that because they've just got good like service history with them. And then a cleaning company had had her after that, so she's just been really well maintained. So um, I'm hoping she's going to be a damn good van for me. And um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the many many miles we are going to do together. So the first job I tackled was taking this um plastic uh stuff off the off the side so that I can insulate it and then ply line it. Um I managed to get most of the indoor bits off except for the ones that that bottom bit on the side door and these bits on the back doors um, just because there's a couple of little screws that are, are little buggers to get off so I'm gonna have to get, uh, get a strong bloke to help me with those or strong woman whoever I can find um, and then I've started unbolting uh, the bolts that put the um, bulkhead up there um, again there's some rusty ones and ones where I'm just gonna need a little extra help to get those off so uh, once I've found somebody to help me with that then that will be that will be off as well but um, yeah making progress so now I'm just going to give the um, give the walls of a, the van a little wipe down because they're a bit bit mucky. So just make that all nice and clean before I put the um, put the insulation in. Got a window. Looks freaking awesome. Absolutely love it. The guys just came today and did that. Literally so quick, like half hour. He was in. So yeah, I paid the bit extra to get one that opened as well. I just thought that was important. Like the weather's really hot, you want to be able to open the window. So um, yeah, I'm loving it. It looks great with the window, and yeah, all the plastic off, giving everything a wipe down. So now it's just a case of wait for the ply lining kit to turn up, and insulate it with 
all that insulation. So yeah, getting there, making progress. It's coming on. So a little van update, got some electrics going on and I'm just about to start insulating it and lining it. I've got some wool insulation as well as some, a roll of aluminium and some Celotex. So I'm just going to like triple layer it for, um, yeah, to just sort of keep as much heat in and as much cold out. Um, so yeah, hopefully that should keep me snug and cosy as well as cool in the summer. This is my van all finished. I'm just coming in from the side door. Um, for the floor, I did a um, layer of Cellotext, 25mm, um, a layer of ply, as well as a layer of the quilted aluminium stuff, and then um, the lino on top and this checker plate, just to keep it all in. By the door, I've got my bin, my water storage, a little bucket to pee in. Over there I've got a suitcase of clothes and behind that my little cool box fridge. My bed slash sofa is there with underneath storage and plastic boxes, some more clothes, food supplies, kitchen supplies. I've got my little cooker there. And here I've got um, just uh, a, a thing that sort of stores my longer like dresses in, acts as a bit of a wardrobe. And my... Um, tricycle at the back there and a little stool a little um, tray with a beanie bottom which is really handy to use as like a work surface a desk to work on it's really handy um, a few little pot plants I've got a string of fairy lights that run off little batteries rechargeable ones um, as well as having electrics over here I've got a solar panel on the roof which runs a light and I've also got the option to plug into the mains as well with with all of that and then I've got this sort of blanket and a bit of bamboo that means I can just pull that across and it just keeps me cosy um, and keeps the cab area separate. And up there I've got a shelf for storage that sort of acts as a bit of a garage space, just sort of random bits and bobs to store. Um, on the roof I've got a layer of aluminium uh, foil insulation, then Celotex and then the ply and on the uh, walls I've got the quilting, uh, aluminium quilting, some wool insulation as well as the Celotex um, and then the ply. Um, so I've sort of triple lined everything just to try and keep it as cosy and warm as possible. Over the um, side window here, I've got another couple of bits of bamboo um, attached with cable cleats and another blanket, and that just acts as a as a little curtain there, nice and cosy. And um, that's my solar panel light and my little uh, electrics there for my solar panel storage. And here's my uh, little electrical setup that I've got going on here. And that's my uh, fridge cool box down there. My lovely little cat <laughs> that I miss. Well, I have my driver's seat here. I've got an inverter, which I just run when the um, the engine's running. And I've got a little heater here, so I just run that. Once I've got the engine running, if it's a bit chilly, I'll get that on. And um, I've got some more electrics down here under the passenger seat. That's where I've got my leisure battery. Um, and I very much um, keep the cab of my van um, as like a porch area. So I keep all my shoes in here. I tend not to wear shoes in the back of my van just to help keep it clean. Um, I don't usually have passengers. So I just, it's just a bit more storage sort of on the passenger seat. I just keep my like swim slash gym bag because I'm using that a lot. And um big bag of wool because I love knitting and crochet um so yeah that's the the cab slash slash porch and I keep a towel just handy hanging there just easy reach 
And again, there's my uh, little curtain which comes across and uh, keeps me keeps me all cosy. And this is the view from the back of my van. Um, you can see here I've got my beautiful Jorvik tricycle. So handy this thing because it folds so it takes up less room, um, which is amazing. Um, and I rest it just in my toolbox there. I've got a bucket of sort of useful bits and bobs. Above this wheel arch I keep my bass guitar. And over here I've just got a row of hooks which I just sort of hang, you know, jumpers, yoga mats, that sort of thing on. And then I've got um, a bit of storage here, a box of sort of somewhat useful miscellaneous stuff, gas for my cooker, and a big old box of books because I just love to read. Um, and yeah, that's the view from the back. And a couple of plants because I just, I love my plants and I was missing them. <laughs>